from the north to the south now and an area already dealing with destructive flooding. Cleanup efforts uh, were the main focus today in Capitola. The work comes after high surf once again hits parts of Santa Cruz County extremely hard. ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Zach Fuentes is in Capitola, has a look at how businesses are recovering as he reports live for us. Zach? Yeah, though the damage and flooding done yesterday was bad. If there's any good news is that it did not compare to the devastation caused by January's high surf. And one big indicator of that is by the number of businesses that are open today, a day after yesterday's high surf. That's a message many business owners are working hard to get out. The cleanup in Capitola continued Friday on the Village Esplanade. Yesterday was a hard one. It really took a blow on a lot of the businesses. Everybody had to close. The cleanup work being done not just by city workers, but by community members. David Corrigan doesn't have a home or business near the Esplanade. Still, we found him shoveling sand from one of the driveways. We take a lot from this little village, and from time to time, we got to give some stuff back. Though the damage to the village was not as extensive as January's high surf, oceanfront businesses still took big hits from the high waves, like the sandbar, who had repaired their floor since January, only to have it buckle again, forcing at least a month-long closure. Joshua Whitby owns Zelda's on the beach. Though he said his business took some damage, it could have been worse. The only damage I really incurred so far is this section of railing over here, and my bus station got pushed over a little bit. All, both things that can be put back fairly quickly and easily, for sure. While Whitby plans to reopen Sunday, he and other business owners are working hard to bring attention to the businesses that are open. We are open, we're here. We're going to be fully sit down, full service. There's a lot of the businesses down here in Capitola Village that are going to be open today and could really use your patronage. Hillary Guzman and her family run El Toro Bravo at one of the lowest lying areas in the Capitola Village. Though open, they still coped with flooding. We were just dust panning the water into the buckets, just trying to stay afloat. Still, after being in business for nearly six decades at the location, they've made some adjustments. We have tile floor, you know, all our tables and chairs were able to be wiped down, sanitized. You know, we keep everything up off the floor, uh, at least six inches, if not more. Though many businesses are already open or at least able to reopen sooner than they were following January's storms, they agree that the hammerings they've been taking are not getting any better. The storms just get worse and more frequent. Um, we're installing storm sh hurricane doors across the back of the restaurant, just in, in preparation for the next one. And the next high surf event those businesses are preparing for is tomorrow morning. And it just started raining here pretty much at the top of the hour. And officials are saying that even though businesses are open and ready to serve, they urge everyone coming down here to be safe and listen to all of the warnings that they are posting and giving people. Right now, live in Capitola, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.